use the linear regression model on the graphing calculator to determine the line of best fit. So before we determine that, we have to decide which concept is the dependent and which concept is the independent. So this discusses the number of coffee sales and how it relates to the high temperature of the day. So I'm going to make two statements and you decide which one do you believe, which one do you believe is correct. Coffee sales depend on temperature or temperature depends on coffee sales. The correct answer is coffee sales, sales depends on temperature. Now what is the reason we do that? That helps us determine what is the X and what is the Y. Above temperature write a Y and above coffee sales I'm going to place, excuse me, above temperature place an X and above coffee sales place a Y. Your dependent is always the Y and the independent is always the X. So if it does not specify it for, for you first, you have to decide which concept is dependent upon the other. In this case, sales depends on temperature. Whatever is dependent is your Y. Whatever is independent then is your X. When you place these into your calculator, using linear regression to find the, the line of best fit, your X will always be the in the L1 list and the L2 list will always be the Y or the dependent. Okay, so we're going to start by going second plus 712. And I'll try to go through this slowly so you can follow along on a calculator. Find the button that says stats, press enter, and it will already be highlighted and press enter again. L1 followed by L2. Once again, L1 is your independent, so I'm going to put all these numbers in, pressing enter after each data point is entered. Then I'm going to go to the L2 column and put in the corresponding number of coffee sales. Feel free to press pause on the video if you have not completed this yet. Now I need to quit out of this, so you're going to hit the blue button and next to it is quit. And now I need to go find the application in here that will actually take all these points, which I'd like to show you what they look like. Let's first look at this really quick. Temperature, the lowest temperature I see is 30, the highest I see is 92. In this list, the lowest Y value is 11 and the highest I see is 62. Now why does that matter? Please go to Windows. There's a couple different ways we can do this. I want to make sure that in the X's, the independent, I go at least from 30 to 92. So somewhere below 30 and negative 10 is below 30, but then I need to be above the highest point and right now I'm only at 10. So if I switch this, let's go somewhere above 90. Now how far should you go? Well the further you go, the better chance you are going to be able to answer other questions. So I'm going to try 110. Then I'm going to go to Y minimum. My Y's have to go at least down to 11, but they have to go over 62. So some number over 62, whether it be 80, 90, your choice. And now I want to see all these data points. What do they look like? So if I go up here and hit the blue button, followed by stat plot, blue followed by stat plot, this is going to currently say off since we've reset our calculator. If you press the enter button found in the bottom right hand corner twice, it will now say on. Once it's on, we can find graph and now it will graph all our points. Remember, line of best fit is not going to do like a connect the dots. It's kind of going to do the, the average through all of these. So your line of best fit doesn't necessarily have these points on the line. It's going to average them for us. Now we're going to find the application that does that. 
go back to stat where we entered all the points. And I'm going to use the arrow to go over to calculate. We know we're working with linear regression right now. This entire unit is on linear functions. Go down to number four. This stands for linear regression. I'm, I have an older calculator. I only have to, oh, this is a newer version. So I need to actually hit enter all the way until I get to calculate. Many of you are only going to have to hit your enter twice and you'll get the exact same answer that I have. Most of you will only have to hit enter twice. This is just an updated um, updated system within this calculator. So I had to hit enter until I got to the calculate. You should have the exact same answer I have. Now, I don't want to round things um, because if you round and then you round again your answer at the very end when they ask us questions, the more times you round, the less accurate your answer is going to be. I want to take exactly what this calculator has an answer of for the line of best fit and I want to put it into the equation part. So how do I do that? I'm going to go up to y equals. And now to copy and paste what we previously had, I want you to find the button that says VARS and hit it one time. Go down to statistics and press enter. Go across to EQ and press enter one more time. It takes and it copy it pastes in. Now hit graph in the top right hand corner. That is a line of best fit. Now, how are we going to use this information? The first problem we're going to do together says, estimate how many cups of coffee will be sold when it is 101 degrees Fahrenheit. So I like to know exactly what are we looking for. So I know the temperature. The temperature is 101. So I like to go back here and go, okay, temperature was an X value. I know the X's. So X equals 101. That means I need to find the Y. I will tell you, when they give you the X and you're trying to identify the Y, it's a pretty simple process. The one thing you have to watch is my X is all the way out to 101. Please hit the button that says Window. Right now my X goes to 110. That's within this range, so I'll be able to calculate it. Okay, how do we calculate it? You're going to hit the button over here that's blue, it's a second. Go up to the top and find trace. The first one that's highlighted will be value, press enter. X value is what? X is 101. And the Y value is what we're looking for. Now what does Y represent? Y represents the number of cups of coffee sold. So when it's 101 degrees Fahrenheit, we can estimate that approximately four cups of coffee will be sold. Part B, estimate the temperature when 70 cups of coffee were sold. Okay, so now we're given cups. I come back here. I'm giving cups of coffee or sales of coffee. So I'm given a Y and you need to find the X. Before I do anything, I need to find out right now is 70 part of in the Y range. So hit Windows and I can see, yep, 70 is in this range. I may want to go just a little bit higher here to make sure I can see everything, but 70 is in the range from negative 10 to 100. Okay, so when you're given a Y value, there's a couple different ways you can do this. But here's what I think is the easiest. Go up to y equals and go to y sub 2. Type in that value of y which happens to be 70 and hit graph. We want to find out where do they intersect and they intersect right there. Okay, I want to find out exactly where they intersect. So here's the line of best fit. And here's the horizontal line where y equals 70. I want to know where do they intersect. So to figure out that exact point, hit the second key, which again is blue, and hit trace. Go down to intersect and press enter. When it says first curve, all it means is what is the first equation you plugged in? And we know that's a line of best fit. So I'm going to use this little cursor and I'm going to keep going until I get close to where I see that those two lines intersect. How close do you get? Oh, fairly close. You press enter one time and it's going to jump to where it says second curve. 
All that means is what is the second equation we plugged in? That was the horizontal line y equals 70. Press enter again. And now it says what is your guess? So I'm going to go over the top of where they intersect and I press enter. What does this mean? It means when 70 cups of coffee were sold, we can predict that the temperature was approximately negative one degree Fahrenheit outside. When 70 cups of coffee were sold, we can predict the temperature was approximately negative one degrees Fahrenheit outside. Okay, let's go to part C. Estimate how many cups of coffee will be sold when it is 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm given temperature. I come back here again. I'm given temperature. Okay, temperature is an X value. Temperature is an X value. So I know X. So X equals 15. Remember, when you're given the X, it's, it's not too bad. Now, here's one thing you need to consider. Is X currently in the range, or do we need to adjust the range? So hit Windows. Is 15 in between these two numbers? It is. Okay. So I went back to graph. And now to find out that Y value, hit second, trace, value will always come up. Hit enter and type in 15. When it is 15 degrees outside, we can estimate that approximately 60 cups of coffee will be sold. Estimate the temperature when five cups of coffee were sold. So I'm given a number of cups of coffee, which is a Y. I'm given Y. You want to figure out what X is. So I'm going to go back to Y equals, and I don't want to know 70 anymore. That was the first part. I'm going to clear out the 70 and change it to a 5. Before I do anything more, I want to hit Windows. 5 is a Y value. Let's look at the Ys. Is 5 in here? Okay, it sure is. All right, good. So it's within this range. I may need to lower this a little more, but let's see. I'm going to hit Graph. And I can see the line is right here. This is where they're set intersecting. be nice if I could zoom in. There's a couple different ways to zoom in that we'll learn later on. Right now, I want to go to this area right here where they're going to intersect. So how am I going to do that? I want to move over to this portion. I don't care about this top part, and I don't care about the part to the left. So I'm going to change the window. I'm going to go to 50 instead of negative, negative 10. And I don't need to go up so high. I'm going to change it to 50. These are just arbitrary numbers. I can change them again. My goal is just to, um, is to zoom in on this so I'm able to see it. And we're going to learn about a zoom feature later on. Okay, now I can see where they intersect. So if I hit second, trace, intersect, it's going to say first curve. First curve just means which equation do we plug in first, and it was the line of best fit. So I'm going to get close to where they intersect and press enter one time. The second curve is just the second equation, which is y equals 5. Press enter again. Go over the top over the intersect, and now I can say when it is 5 degrees Fahrenheit outside, we can estimate that 100 cups of coffee will be sold.